Good morning. Uh, we're going to read a quick verse out of the Proverbs chapter 19 this morning. Proverbs chapter 19. You know, I had, uh, got really excited. Well, I don't want to say I got excited, but Brother Gary had gotten sick, so I had an opportunity to, to come preach last Sunday, but then I got sick, so I didn't get to go and do it, and, and it kind of broke my heart a little bit, but the Lord's got a way for everything, but um, I had watched online for Shane doing that Sunday night, and he had kind of talked about taking your own, taking responsibility, like everybody needs to take responsibility, and then I had... Uh, I had wrote this down before I had watched it, so the Lord just kind of worked his way through that. But, uh, I'm going to read uh, Proverbs 19, verse 3, real quick. The foolishness of man perverteth his way, and his heart fretteth against the Lord. And it just kind of, that kind of popped out to me that, you know, we do most certainly have to take responsibility for our own actions. And. Yeah. A lot of the times, I know Brother Gary has preached about this, I mean, a lot of times you're the cause of your own problems. That's right. And I know especially with uh, a lot of saved Christians of these modern churches, they, uh, they, some of them will even put the blame on the Lord and be like, oh, why did you let this happen? Or, and lots of people especially don't have an understanding of this book and the Lord and his ways and they like, oh, well, I, I, I prayed to you. Well, your prayers didn't go past the ceiling, so, because you're not safe. But a lot of them will try to just put that blame on the Lord when it had nothing to do with him. It was you and your own foolish ways, your own stupidity. And, you know, the the choices the man uh, a man or a woman makes will lead them either to heaven or hell. And, you know, I... I can't eat a week old McDouble from McDonald's and expect to be fine. I mean, it's not going to sit well in my stomach. I'm probably going to go to the hospital. I mean, you're. Sometimes you cause your own problems. I mean, that's right. Like, oh, I can't eat it. And be like, oh, Lord, why'd you do this to me? Oh, I'm dying. Like, no, stupid. You did it to yourself. Right. But, it, like, if I choose to study before I get behind this pulpit, I will either reap the what I sow from that or. <coughs> If I get up here and I haven't studied at all, then, oh, well, I ain't got nothing, so go ahead and call Jeremy up here, I guess. But you, you're, you're going to, you have to take responsibility for your actions. Right. And, like, another one is if I choose to live my life separate from the Lord <laughs> and I end up dying, guess where you're going? Hell. Yeah. Exactly. Hell. And it's not the Lord's fault. Nope. He sits there and he's like, "Hey, come here. I'm gonna, just let me, let me, let me sit with you a minute. Let me talk to you." That's right. And if you choose to keep denying him, you only got so long. That's right. And it's, if you don't, like I said, he's constantly begging you and telling you to come here. That's what the Sunday, the Sunday night, the nursing home. I mean, I have no doubt that the Lord can save somebody at the nursing home. Amen. And. But if you choose to live your life separate from the Lord, you're going to take responsibility for your actions. There's consequences. Right, right, right. And that, that's something that this world really needs to get in their head. I mean, even even else was, I, mean, I got something from your testimony on Saturday. I mean, you, a lot of people got these blinders on because they want to focus on the, the thing that the Christian did, but not take responsibility for their own actions. Right, right. And yeah. you gotta, you gotta own up. Go, like, yeah, I screwed up. And if you fall, and you ended up doing something you weren't supposed to, are you gonna stay down there, or are you gonna get back up and continue on fighting? Uh, but if you don't accept that gift of salvation, that consequence is the lake of fire. Yep. It's not just separation from the Lord. You know, it's, you just. Over here, you didn't. You chose to live. I know. I talked with Brother Shane about this guy that I've seen before. That he believed that 
Hell is just separation from the Lord. It's not a literal lake of fire. Well, that doesn't that doesn't go along with this book. I'll that's tell you right. that. Yep. Says there'll be wailing and gnashing of teeth. That's not, that's torment. That's pain. Amen. That is a lake of fire. Right. Yep. And it's but if you hear the Lord calling you this morning, if He's beckoning you, hey, come get it right. Come talk to me a minute. Let me let me let me just show you what I can offer you. Because I, I promise you, it's it's a million times better than what the devil's going to give you. Yep. And unless you want to spend an eternity in a devil's hell <coughs> that was made for him and his angels, come get it right this morning. Because I'm glad I did. I'm Amen. sure anybody in here will tell you they're glad they did. And it's, like I said, it's time to take responsibility for your own actions. Because it's, you ain't got this long, that long on this earth. And then it's time to answer for what you've done. That's right, and right. if you get up there and the Lord says, hey, I put him in this in your path so you could like, come come to me. So you could see what I have to offer you. Right. For the, the love and the mercy and the grace that I've shown them, I wanted to show that to you, but you chose to steer away. So you're going to have to answer for that. That's right. Yep. So just keep that in the forefront of your mind this morning. If you heal, uh, I, I know Brother Randy Hicks, when he was always at Kingsway, he said that you can hear that little, that still small voice, and it, it's beckoning you to come. That's the Lord. He's telling you, come on, come talk to me today. If, if, whether or not it's, you need to get it right with the Lord and you need to get saved, or maybe you messed up and you need to get forgiveness. You don't got to wait until service starts, because the service ends, to come get it right. Amen. You can, you can do it at any point during this day. You can do it whenever, but... Come get it right with the Lord today. Today is the day of salvation. Amen. It doesn't say tomorrow. Tomorrow's not promised to you. Right. Come get it right with the Lord today. Right. So, but that's kind of what I had this morning. But is there a little one that wants to dismiss us? Oh, go ahead, Jack. Amen. Amen. Amen.